So, continuing on our little trip down, we're going to go a trip down memory lane. So let's have a look. Airfix has announced they're going to be doing a whole lot of kits that they're going to be uh, re-releasing from the from olden days, olden days, my days. Um, so I thought I might show you what it used to look like compared to what's going to come out because we haven't seen the new box art or whether they're going to how they're going to box the new ones or whatever. But I thought I'd show you. What, what what it was all about in years gone by when we used to buy them at supermarkets and news agents and chemists and everything else. So, let's have a look. Ta-da! Now this has been helped helped me by a friend of mine. He's uh, got a beautiful collection of Airfix and all sorts of things and uh, some other bits and pieces we've got. So, let's have a look at, these are all kits that are gonna be re-released this year probably in the box art that I'll show you as the part because I doubt that they'll do some of the other ones. First off, we're getting the, the Haviland Beaver back. So that's the two, that's two of the original um, box arts that they originally came out in. Um, this is a this is going to be really nice. It's a it's an old classic kit, uh, Australia fluid of course. Uh, Hobbycraft have done the Beaver again, but there's issues with it, and I'm not quite sure. This one does come with a bit of rivet detail and everything else, but it doesn't take much to sand it off and clean it up. But really nice kit. It came with skis and floats, which I assume the new version will come with as well. And there you go. So that's those two. We're also getting the shooting star. Now this is a nice kit. Um, it always went together well. I've built so many of them over the years. Always love building them. Uh, the kit comes with a couple of nice markings. Sagging Dragon is, is probably going to be one in there, I hope. And they go from there. But 70 second scale, really nice kit. Just for nostalgia purposes. Now, this is an interesting one. This is one of Airfix's original, original kits. Actually, I've got that out of sequence there. So. Original box art. Oh, oh, sorry, this is the hang cell. This is in the bag. This is the old bag saw. So in the original box, uh, original bag, original bag, original bag. Uh, this is one that came out of um, uh, Russia or something rather. It's called Plasti Airfix. Now these date back to 1957, 58, 59. So they're quite, quite old. And then I believe this is the last boxing of it because I haven't done this kit for some time. So you can see the the history of Airfix almost right through uh, till till this this one. So that's just, this is how they used to do it. So yeah, very very interesting concepts when they first started out. Everything was bagged and it had oh look there you go. There's another one. So you can see that originally all the different styles of, of uh, artwork that they used to have and then they went to like full color and, and all the rest of it so very 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 interesting so very cool this is the Bassett now this was listed as one of the most wanted kits when they put a message out to see what kit you wanted to see done so this is the two of the box arts for the the Bassett this is I believe that's the original so it's got the uh, RAF markings and things like that. Then it was re-released in the RAF markings again, but in the brighter colours and everything else. The kits themselves, you can see that the old original silver plastic and things like that. Come, there's the stand, all the rest of it. So it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. So they so that's pretty good. So that's coming out. So we'll see that as well. This is the the Chiha. And now we don't, unfortunately we don't have much of this kit because um, it wasn't out that long apparently from what I'm told and there's not that many of them around. So this is the Japanese Chiha which apparently was also still a very nice kit. And then we've got the Stalin Tank. And this is in its original uh, cardboard selling version. So uh, with the, the box, the clear box over the top of it. The old days, there's your, there's your colour guide and there's your instructions. Bit different today the way they do it but there you go they even had a little parts breakdown for you as well so not a hard kit to build so that's pretty cool and then just for a little bit more this is the 1963 catalog for airfix and it is got all the classic ones in it this is how catalogs used to be and this is how they should be today but we have to have all the fancy work and everything else so 
But some of the things that are in there, you look at and you go, oh, I wish they'd redo that. Oh, I wish they'd have that out again. There's some ships that they did. This is all the figures. This is all the ninth, uh, the big scale figures that they did. So it's pretty cool. Some ships, cars. Some of these have come back out under different labels, different brands, things like that. This is all their railway stuff. This is now under a company called Dapol. Uh, I'm not sure when, but somewhere in a period of time and days gone by, they went through and uh, uh, sold it off to a group called Dapol. But it actually came from another company called Plastitoy, I believe. So there you go. So figures, wagon trains and American Civil War, and there's all the original armor that they did. Some of this is still being re-released as is. The old Bloodhound, that came with the Hercules later on, they did. So there you go, something different. So that's the old original, 1963 catalogue. <laughs> but the one that I'm waiting for and the one that I've wanted to redo, this is the original bagged 70, um, 70 second scale boomerang is coming back. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a lovely kit. It's, look, it's, it, by today's standards, it's got its issues and there's all sorts of things and everything else, but I grew up on these. I built so many of them and all my mates had them and we all ran around with them and all the rest of it and they became, we put bigger guns on them and oh, you just did stupid things with the things to make it a bigger fighter, a better fighter and all the rest of it. But as a kid, it's such a, such an iconic little um, matchbox, uh, sorry, epics kit and um, we just loved it. But if you have a look there, Myers used to sell kits and I paid 75 cents for it. So there you go. So that's a bit different. The decals have just about had it. And I've had this one for a long, long time. So the decals have just about had it. But there's instructions and a little header card and everything else. So how cool is that? But there you go. But So this is being re-released. Some of this vintage stuff is limited. So if you're thinking that you might want to just have one for the nostalgia purposes, or you just want to have one because you've never had one before, jump online, contact us, come in and see us, put it on order. They're, due, they're going to come out all through the year, so just keep an eye out and get onto us and, and get them organised. As I said, some of these vintage kits have sold out previously on previous vintage kits they've done. I reckon the Boomerang is going to be a huge seller just because of what it is. So if you want to get some, come and see us, go online, order it. And I've got one more thing to show you. From AK. AK's finally released the rest of their third generation paints. We now have AFV figures and aviation so these these paints this is their third generation paint this is becoming very 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 popular the colors matches are very good there's a lot of information on it but the beauty of these paints and um, the more and more i read about them and the more and more people i talk to are you using them these paints can take a lot more um a little bit take a bit more carry on uh because I've now discovered, and, and as I said, doing a bit of reading, you can actually use enamel washers on these if you're careful and you're sparing on it. Don't sort of flood the thing with it. But these acrylic paints are so strong or so good that you can actually use enamel washers on it. You can use all sorts of other bits and pieces on it. So they're pretty hard wearing. So have a look at this paint, give it a try. If you haven't used acrylics before, Give these a try if you want to try some because the information, the reports, the use, my partner's been using them for painting figures. She likes them a lot. Um, but with the new additions to the range, this is all 3D. Now I will warn you, you have to use the third generation thinner. Because of the paints and the materials they're using for these acrylic paints, you have to use their thinner until you either can find something you're more comfortable with but as a new paint range, use their thinner. We sell it, we've got it, we've got all sorts of other bits and pieces to it. So from AK Paints, come and have a look at them, see what they've got, give them a try. I think you'll be happy with them, especially if you've been using acrylics. So see you then, have a great day, and I'll catch you then, bye.